Hi guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm sharing with you all of my Sephora faves. So I have a few different categories. We're doing hair, skincare, my favorite, makeup, lotion, body care, and a little bit of home actually. If you guys follow along, you know that I'm quite the product junkie and I've tested out a lot of things and I'm telling you guys what is worth it. It's not sponsored, but the Sephora sale is going on. So if you guys are a Rouge member, you get 20% off from October 30th to November 9th. If you're a VIB member, you get 15% off from November 3rd to November 9th. If you're an insider, you get 10% off from November 5th to November 9th. So I will have everything linked down below and then on my like to know profile, which I will have linked below. You guys can go follow me on there. That is where I'm going to be sharing the best sets and kind of gifts and all that stuff. So if you guys are getting a little head start on um, Christmas shopping, I will have everything linked there. Okay, so starting off with hair, the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is this new Olaplex like gift set and this is actually a gift set I'll be doing most of those on like to know it but this one I actually bought for myself it's a holiday gift set and I was like this is a great deal I'm, I'm gonna buy it for myself it comes with four different products they're like travel size mini size products but they're really good for the holiday season if you're traveling anyways it's the shampoo conditioner the bond perfector and something else that I haven't used yet for $60 which is a really really good deal because Olaplex is really pricey so if you guys don't know if you want to commit to it or whatever it's definitely a good buy also I've just been using it as my everyday hair and shampoo and it has really lasted me quite some time I'm not even close to needing a refill yet with that being said I'm definitely going to actually buy the shampoo and conditioner after so I will also have that link down below because that is my all-time favorite holy grail shampoo and conditioner at the moment I say at the moment because things change you know but I love that stuff it is so good the next thing is a little bit pricey I'm aware but if you're going to buy it buy it during the sale it is my Dyson air wrap if you guys have been watching my vlogs or anything I got I got it months ago and honestly it's been one of my best purchases of 2020 it honestly will replace every other hair tool that you use but it just oh my gosh I have the Dyson hair dryer that's really great if you just want a hair dryer the Dyson hair dryer is the best I'll also have it linked down below my favorite Dyson product that I have is my Dyson air wrap that I have over there and I recently got I believe the 20 millimeter accessory I will have it on the screen because I'm probably getting that wrong and it is my favorite accessory with the Dyson Air Wrap. So the Dyson Air Wrap comes with so many different tools. You can use it as a hair dryer. You can use it to give yourself a blowout. You can use it for curls. You can use it for a straight blowout. Like there's so many different hairstyles that you can do with just the set. And they recently came out with a few more accessories that I was actually gifted from Dyson, which is so nice of them. And I love them. Like it is by far my favorite accessory that the air app has and I've just been like living for it. I have an Instagram reel up at this point of my hair care routine, what I do and how I style it with my Dyson air app if you guys are interested in that. But now is the time to buy it. It is so worth the money. It's so much better for your hair. It is just, it's literally the best thing ever. If you guys are looking for a curling iron, I would really recommend the dry bar three day bender. I don't use this as much anymore because I use my air app for pretty much everything, but I really do like that curling iron. If you were just looking for a simple one, um, the dry bar three day bender is my favorite curling iron that there is, especially on Sephora. Moving on to skincare. This is my favorite part. Okay. I have a mix of high and low prices. So like I'm starting off with Sunday Riley and then we're going to the ordinary. So you guys will see the Sunday Riley vitamin C serum. There has never been a serum that has done more for my skin. It smells so good. It feels so good. To me, it's worth the money. I really care about having vitamin C and then also hyaluronic acid. So I do splurge on the vitamin C serum, but it smells so good. It makes my skin like glow and look absolutely perfect. Recently, I've been using that and then I put on my next favorite product, which is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Now, originally, I was trying to get Peter Thomas Roth. I was trying to really invest in my skincare and honestly, nothing compares to the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I like that product so much more and it's legit like $12 for like a, the big size, guys. The Ordinary is so good. I will link below a few of the ordinary products that I like if you guys are interested in trying them out because they're already so inexpensive and then also you think about with this deal going on, it's crazy. Of course, the Summer Fridays jet lag mask, you have to include this. This is just kind of a holy grail product for so many reasons because you can use it for so many different things. I will use it as an overnight mask the most. I know a lot of people use it as a moisturizer. Some people use it as a primer. Some people use it as just a mask. It lasts so long. I love the tube. It is just the best product ever and it is a holy grail for so many people, but it's just such a good skincare product to have. I'm going to include like lip balms in skincare. I don't know if that's allowed, but the Summer Fridays Vanilla Lip Balm. 
there is nothing like it. I actually was just with a friend and I had her try it. I'm like, this stuff smells so good. It is the best lip balm out there. I'm an absolute freak about having chapped lips. I can't do it. It drives me insane. So I have probably about 30 lip balms just throughout my house and purses and all that. And the Summer Fridays one is the one that I constantly, constantly repurchase. Honestly, just to have different in different rooms of my house. Like, it is my holy, holy, holy grail lip product. I will probably never use anything else. I just love it so much. I also love the Laneige lip balm in the pink little um, jar. That one's really good as well. That's the one I used for the longest time before. And it's a really good kind of overnight lip treatment. So that's good to keep in your nightstand. They're both really bomb. Um, it kind of depends on your preference, but I personally like the Summer Fridays one more. But I love the Laneige one as well, so you really can't go wrong. If you guys struggle with redness in your skin, this is like my biggest problem and it's been my biggest problem. I struggled with it more when I was younger, but I would always have this kind of redness along my cheeks and especially in the cold weather, it was just like my biggest kind of insecurity in my skin. Dr. Jart has a tiger grass line. Every product in that is so good. I like try, my little brother has used it before for the same kind of thing and it is so good. My personal favorite is the jar. I find that that works the best. It's a green cream so it cancels out redness and it really calms your skin. The jar, it's a little bit thick so you really have to kind of rub it in your skin. It also blurs out your skin. Like your skin just looks like it was kind of airbrushed and super natural, which it is natural because it's just a wicker moisturizer, but it looks airbrushed, it's so good. They also have a serum, they also have sets. I will have everything linked down below. If you guys deal with redness, this is what you need to try. I would start off with the jar. The tube is also good. The tube is not as thick, it's not as intense. It just depends on like what you want, but personally, I like the jar the best. But I'll have a few others linked below. If you guys are looking for just a very thick oil, the Drunk Elephant Luxury Facial Oil has been one of my faves for the longest, longest time. It's really good, it's crazy moisturizing, it feels luxurious, hence the name, but it is one of my favorite oils. I love oils for my skin, I'm such an oils girl, and that is like one of my top ones. If you're looking to splurge, I would look into that one, but if you're looking to save some money, I would get the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. It really does it matter that much? There's really not that big of a difference, honestly. It just depends on like what you're specifically looking for in your skin. Last thing that I'm sure you guys are so tired of me talking about because you guys have seen me use all these products in my videos before, but this one has reached like a whole new level of how much I talk about it. It is the Super Goop sunscreen. So I get the glow screen, there's different kinds, and it is my favorite product of 2020. It goes on your skin, obviously it's a sunscreen, so it's really good for your skin. It makes your skin look so good. It blurs it a little bit, it glows, like you have just the prettiest finish to your skin, which I love. Like I adore this product. I will never go without it. I have about three or four throughout my house because I'll have it in my bathroom, then I have it at my vanity, then I'll have it like elsewhere, and I'll have it in a bag, my gym bag, things like that. And it is so good. If you are looking for a good sunscreen, the glow screen is amazing. If you guys are not into the whole glowing look, you want matte, they also have a matte option. I'll link that below as well. But the glow screen, guys, if you are especially a no makeup, makeup kind of girl, and you don't want to wear something on your face, put the sunscreen on. One, you should wear sunscreen every day. And two, this makes your skin look so good. Moving on to makeup. So this is hard for me to kind of narrow it down because I have tried so many different products over the years, but I'm just going to share with you guys what I've been loving recently. I have a lot of actually like foundations and skin products and normally I feel like I don't but recently I've just been trying out different ones so I wanted to share them with you guys. Huda Beauty foundation. I really really like this. My sister is really into makeup and she swears by this foundation. I've been trying it out and I really 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 love it. It gives me like a beautiful sheen. It's a little bit heavier. If I'm like really really going all out with makeup I'll wear that one. I also love Rare Beauty's foundation. I might like this one a little bit more. I was really, really impressed by this. It gives you a really good, it's not super glowy, but it's not too matte, which I think is what I currently need because I go a little bit overboard with the oils, you know? I especially love how this applies to your skin. It's also a really good price as well. The Becca Primer. This is one of my holy grail products. It has been for probably like three years now. It is the Backlit Primer. So I put this on obviously before I put on my foundation or tinted moisturizer or whatever I'm wearing for that day. And it makes my skin glow. I know you guys are shocked, but it is honestly probably like one of my holy grail products and I don't think that I would like the way my face makeup 
would look without it. I'm really heavily reliant on this one product regardless of whatever foundation I'm using. This stuff is so good. Your makeup obviously stays on much longer. It goes on better and it gives you a healthy glow, which I really love. Okay, so last foundation-ish option, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I've also used this probably since I was in high school and I graduated this semester for college. Like this is such a good product. The CC Serum is what I love. I have so many different colors and I just use one pump with the Beauty Blender and apply it on and that's it. You don't need any more. It gives you the perfect, the whole tagline is like your skin but better and it's really true. If you guys are looking just for an everyday like CC cream, nothing too crazy heavy, anything like that with a little bit of SPF, get the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It is like the best on the market. Also, they have really good products for getting rid of like rosacea and redness because Jamie Kern Lima, which is the founder, which I also have a podcast with her on my podcast. If you guys want to listen, it's one of my favorites. So that will be linked below. But she struggled with that a ton. And so it was really important to her when she started It Cosmetics for that to like be kind of her holy grail thing. And so if you guys deal with that, definitely It Cosmetics is like your um, savior, if you will. The Marc Jacobs Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer right now. I love it. I love how big it is. I love how it comes with a big mirror. I use the mirror for literally everything that I have. Um, I just am obsessed with it. It is the perfect bronzer. I know it's a crowd fave, but it is my fave as well. Um, I've been loving that recently. It gives me just the perfect amount of color. It's really buildable. You can put it on really lightly or really build it up and it doesn't ever look muddy, which is important. If you are not into that bronzer, I also love the Hula bronzer. This is another holy grail of everyone's for the longest time, but I love the Hula bronzer because then I will actually use that as eyeshadow as well. And it is the perfect eyeshadow, like natural eyeshadow color for me, even though obviously it isn't eyeshadow, but whatever. Last thing I will say is I really like the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's really big, and at first I didn't know if I was gonna love it because the application, it was just really big, right? But I actually really love it. I can wear it just with one coat and my eyelashes look really natural. It's really buildable. It's never too clumpy. It's never too much, but it can be a lot in a good way. I love that. For lip glosses, any Tower 28 lip gloss I love. I'm pretty sure Tower 28 is a clean brand too. The lip glosses are a really good price and I wear them nonstop. Like I have literally three colors sitting on my dresser right now because I just alternate between them. I have one on right now. They are my favorite lip glosses. They are really moisturizing and I love them. I also really love beauty counter lip glosses. If you guys are looking for a more moisturizing lip gloss, like they are the most moisturizing lip glosses you will ever ever use. Moving on to perfume. So currently I love the Mason Margiela, I'm gonna say that wrong, Replica perfumes. A lot of them are gender neutral. I love Jazz Club. That one smells so good. By the Fireplace, that's what I'm using right now. It's such a different scent for me. It's almost a little bit more like masculine, but it literally just feels, it literally just smells like you're by a fireplace. Like it's such a comforting scent. I love that one. I love Lazy Sunday Morning. You really can't go wrong. I really alternate with scents a lot and I love different perfumes. That's why I always love, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about gift scents in here and those would be like to know it. If you guys are trying out different scents, even just for yourself, the perfume sampler at Sephora is one of the best values. You get a whole thing of all these different samples, I think for like 60 something dollars. And inside the sampler is a credit to Sephora so you can go get the full size. So you can try out like 12 different perfumes and then when you're done with those, figure out which one was your favorite and then you go get the full size. It's really good for a gift for someone else but also it's really good for yourself. Like I've done it for myself multiple times but I've also gotten it for other people. Scent is also a hard gift to give someone unless they specifically ask for what they want. So I just find that that's always like the safer route so that they can pick it out themselves. Last but not least for home, I love the replica candles. I have one right there. I have the by the fireplace candle as well downstairs. And anytime someone is in my house, they are like, your house smells so good. And it's because of these candles and I've only had them for like a week, but I love them. They are first off beautiful. Second, they last really long. I burn them for a long time and they've barely even gone down. And then um, they just smell so good. The by the fireplace candle is my favorite for the time being, but good for yourself as a gift to yourself. Also good for other people. Good gift. All right, so that is it for my current Sephora favorites. If you guys want more deals, sale alerts, all that stuff, follow me on my Like to Know it profile, just Kenzie Elizabeth. And I'll be sharing all the best deals with the Sephora sale, as well as like value packs, some gifts and things like that. So go follow me on that. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys want to see more like it. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.